right now because I know y'all didn't heard about Della Reese. My nephew didn't got up on here, but he didn't did his due and did his honor. Uh, and, uh, gave his respect, you know, and, and that's all because of me, because, you know I me, mean, I raised him up on Touched by an Angel, Harlem Nights, you know what I'm saying, sister to sister, I raised him up on all of those things, you know what I mean, I raised him up on Red Fox and all of them numbers, so, you know what I mean, this is really a hurt piece for me, cause I, I, you know, I used to do, I used to run numbers back in the day, and I was in the, in the team, you know, back in Harlem, they used to do a whole lot of that, whole lot of, so, this really touched me, you know what I'm saying, you know, I knew Della back up to, you know, when they used to perform at the Uptown and whatnot, so this is really a doozy, so I want y'all to really, really take care of your people, you know what I'm saying, take care of your people, do right, and don't be on that bum shit, you understand what I'm saying, do right, Bob, never know, never know, now Joseph, how you, how you turn this thing off, I you, Yeah. 
He parked that close because it's the law. Shit. What the hell you want, Harley? I don't want nothing. I just came out here to get a good look at you. Yeah. Like what you see. Not really. Good. Cause neither do I. You look like you've been hit by a Mack truck, Harley. I had a heart attack. What's your excuse? I'm gonna pray for you. Lord knows you need it. Are you done? No. But you are. Good. Need some help? No, I don't need your help. You done got your laugh today, so now you can take your ass in that dirty ass house and mind your business. All right, neighbor. But remember, it was I who told you to slow down. You gonna send yourself to an early grave fucking with them young boys. I'm gonna need you to sign these. Uncle Keith, you sure you want me to sign this? What's that? It's a life insurance policy. Let me see that. Look, I ain't getting no younger. And I, I'm gonna need someone to take care of all of my stuff when I die. Kick the bucket. I prefer going home to glory. But since you motherfuckers don't have no spirituality, I, I, I'm gonna go up ahead and agree with y'all and say die. But wait, I don't understand. Why not Dwight? He is your next of kin. Yeah, I'm your son. I don't know if this is a good idea, Uncle Keith. I'm gonna need to think about this. That's exactly why I want you to be my beneficiary. Man, cousin, just sign a shit, man. I don't even give a fuck. Yes, you do. That's why you're standing over there with that dumb ass look on your face. Why do you care? You don't care about me or my baby. First of all, they ain't even your damn. You know what? Life is too short to be arguing with your ass about dumb shit. You know what, cuz? He's right. You should, you should sign the papers. You know? And be his big beneficiary and all that shit. It's beneficiary, dickhead. Uncle Kate, Uncle Keith? You really gotta stop putting me between the two of y'all. No, 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 don't worry about it. Don't feel no kind of way about it. Cause look, 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 let me let me let me explain something to you. That's my child. I made peace with uh, unlike his fat ass mother, I made peace with the shit, okay? I know he ain't shit. And you need to make peace with it too, or you gonna be in for a rude awakening. You understand me, nephew? You know what, cuz? Sign the paper. Maybe this nigga die faster if you do. Damn. Thank you. You're welcome, I guess. I also left the will. Did you read that part? Yeah, I read it. It says you're going to be cremated. Mm-hmm. Spread my ashes in the Atlantic Ocean. Do you even know how to swim? No. But I figured I'd get a head start in the next lifetime, if you understand what I'm saying. I need some tea. Shave, I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. 